Hello everyone and welcome to Fun To Be Free. Today's journey brings us to Disney's Boardwalk Resort. Coming up next. Hey Explorers, John with Fun To Be Free inviting you to follow me as we discover fun together. Let's go! We're here at Disney's Boardwalk where Disney magic meets seaside charm. Disney's Boardwalk Resort offers decor inspired by Atlantic City and Ocean City during the early 20th century. Disney's Boardwalk Resort is located in the Epcot Resort area alongside Crescent Lake and is situated between Epcot and Disney's Hollywood Studios at the Walt Disney World Resort. Disney's Boardwalk Inn is a deluxe resort and Disney's Boardwalk Villas is a Disney Vacation Club Resort. They both share a common lobby with the rest of the resort. The Boardwalk Entertainment District lies along a quarter mile long authentic boardwalk reminiscent of Coney Island in Brooklyn, New York. Disney's Boardwalk Resort offers many dining options, both on the boardwalk and inside the resort. Disney's Boardwalk Resort has two pools. The feature pool at Disney's Boardwalk Inn is the Luna Park Pool, which is themed after a 1920s to 1940s carnival. The Luna Park Pool features the 200-foot Keister Coaster water slide. The Disney's Boardwalk Villas Quiet Pool is located near Community Hall. Disney's Boardwalk Resort is situated on Crescent Lake. There's also a quarter mile boardwalk that goes around the lake and it has two pools including the Luna Park Pool and the Quiet Pool. Just over to the right hand side is the bus stop for Disney's Magical Express. And here we are at the Portico with its large vaulted ceilings. But let's proceed straight ahead towards the main entrance. And here's the main entrance to Disney's Boardwalk Resort. Just over to the left hand side are Disney's Boardwalk Villas. And over to the right hand side is Disney's Boardwalk Inn. Before we go take a look at the lobby, let's swing around to our right hand side and check out the bus transportation here at Disney's Boardwalk Resort. To the boardwalk, a show place of the shore, a vacation sensation, and just down below here are some steps that go down to the boardwalk, but we'll go look at that later. We're going to follow the walkway to the conference center, the self-parking lot, and Walt Disney World bus transportation. We're going to walk down this ramp here to the bus stop, and here is Disney's boardwalk conference center, and we're walking back up to the intersection. If we head over to the left hand side, we can see the sign that says Walt Disney World Bus Transportation to Magic Kingdom Park, Disney's Animal Kingdom Park, Disney Springs, and Water Parks. And here's the bus stop. Now let's head back up the ramp to the main entrance of the lobby here at Disney's Boardwalk Resort. We're here at Disney's Boardwalk Resort. We're just gonna go through these double doors here and we're immediately greeted with a nice floor display on our right hand side. And here's a quick look at the artwork hanging on the wall along with some nice benches. And we're gonna go through these double doors into the lobby. And we're gonna look straight ahead here and see a model of a carousel. And directly overhead is an oversized chandelier. And here's the early 20th century seaside inspired themed lobby here at Disney's Boardwalk. Over to the left hand side, is the front desk for check-in. There's also some nice areas for you to sit and relax to wait for your family or friends while they check in. And take a look at these themed chairs. And just on the other side, another one as well. There's even this nice balcony where you can sit and relax outside and overlook Crescent Lake. Disney's Boardwalk offers a couple of recreation and merchandise offerings, including 
poolside activities, and movie under the stars. Now let's proceed straight ahead and check out Disney's Boardwalk Villas, a Disney vacation club resort. Just over to the right hand side is Dundee's Sundries, serving the boardwalk since 1902. It appears Dundee's Sundries is temporarily closed today, but there's a sign outside that says please visit Screen Door General Store on the boardwalk. Here's a quick look through the window of the merchandise offerings they have here. And here's the opposite window with the merchandise. But if we continue looking over to our left hand side, there's a set of elevators. Let's take one up to the fifth floor and check out the interior guest hallways. Let's hit the button for the elevator. And the doors have opened. We're going to go inside the elevator and we're going to hit the fifth floor button. And we've arrived on the fifth floor. The elevator doors are opening now. Just over on the left hand side is a large window with an overlook to the Luna Park pool. But we'll come back to that later. Here's a look at the elevator arrival area here on the fifth floor. Let's keep going down this hallway here. Here's a look at the room entry. The door plaque off to the left hand side. And if we just swing over to the left again, we're here on the fifth floor and there's a balcony that overlooks the fourth floor. Let's go check that out. The guests that stay at Disney's Boardwalk Resort are so fun. But if we look just over to our left hand side, there's this nice sitting area here on the fourth floor. Now that we've seen Disney Vacation Club Boardwalk Villa side, let's go over to Disney's Boardwalk Inn and check out the interior guest rooms there. Follow me. And here's the carousel at Disney's Boardwalk Resort. There's the main entrance that we came through earlier, but we're going to head over to our left hand side here. We're going to go to Disney's Boardwalk Inn and we're going to proceed directly through this corridor here. Through the windows are the steps that we saw earlier. And on the opposite side is Crescent Lake. Here's some nice artwork of a turn of the century boardwalk. And over on the right hand side are some restrooms. Here's a look at some artwork here at Disney's Boardwalk Resort. Here's a stairway that takes you to the lower level or ground level. And just up ahead is the Bellevue Lounge. Bellevue Lounge is temporarily unavailable. We're going to go through this corridor here and catch an elevator just up on the left hand side. And we're going to catch an elevator up. And here's a look as you step off the fourth floor elevators here at Disney's Boardwalk Inn. Here's a nice vaulted ceiling with a sitting area just off to the left hand side of the elevators here on the fourth floor. We're just headed down this hallway to the innkeepers club. It's the concierge level here at Disney's Boardwalk Resort. Here's a look at the door entry, the room number plaque, and just around the corner here is the innkeepers club. Here's a reception desk and over to our left hand side is the entrance to the innkeepers club. Access by magic bands to the innkeepers club. At the moment, the innkeepers club is not operating, but I hope it will reopen shortly. Now let's head over to the village green courtyard. Here's the boardwalk resort inn elevators. Up ahead are some double doors that takes us out to the cottage suites. Let's go check that out along with a quiet pool before we go check out the village green courtyard. Directly behind me are the double doors that we just came through. Here's a grand set of steps. And if we look out on the distance here, here's the cottage suites. Take a look at these cute cottage suites here at Disney's Boardwalk Resort. There's a Mickey just over the gate here. And if you look over to the right hand side, there's the room number plaque themed to a birdhouse. Just up ahead is this gorgeous themed courtyard. And over to the right hand side, here's the quiet pool. Here's a quick look at the quiet pool with the restrooms in the background and a spa just over to the right hand side for grown up explorers. And here's another quick look at the cottage suites here at Disney's Boardwalk Inn. Now that we've seen the cottage suites, let's head over to the village green courtyard. We just came down these steps here over on Disney's Boardwalk Inn side 
and we're gonna go check out the village green courtyard. There's the double doors that we just came out of. But if we swing over to my right hand side, here are those steps that we saw earlier up by the main entrance and above, that's where we walked across the little bridge. And over to the right hand side is the balcony adjacent to the lobby with those nice patio chairs. And beneath it are some additional patio chairs where you can relax here at the Village Green Courtyard. Here's another look at the Village Green Courtyard where they have movie under the stars. That's the lobby level up there at the balcony. And below are those nice little patio chairs where you can sit and relax. And here's where you could normally rent Surrey bike rentals. Here's the Surrey bike rentals area. But the sign down here says, bicycle rentals now available at Community Hall. And here's a friendship boat coming into dock. And we've come up to the promenade pier. Bon voyage. Over on the left hand side, the friendship boats offer a service to the Yacht Club, Beach Club, Swan and Dolphin Hotel, and Disney's Hollywood Studios. On the opposite side, the friendship boat launches go to Epcot. And here's a look at the friendship boat loading over to Epcot. And on the opposite side, it's going to the resort hotels or Disney's Hollywood Studios. Surrey bike rentals. And just over to the right hand side is the Wyland Galleries. Up ahead here is a passageway to the Luna Park pool. But we'll come back to that in a moment. Over on the right hand side is the Wyland Galleries. The Wyland Galleries of Florida offers some Disney fine art. We'll just take a quick look from the outside here. Here's another quick look at the Disney characters they offer here at the Wyland Gallery of Florida. Just up ahead is the Wyland Galleries, but we're going to proceed around the corner here and check out the Screen Door General Store. And here's the Screen Door General Store. Let's go inside and take a look. We're going to go through these double doors here and proceed inside. We're immediately greeted with bakery items here. And off to the left hand side are some sodas for Junior Explorers and also some grown up Explorer beverages as well. Here's just a quick look at the Screen Door General Store. Just up ahead is the Friendship Boat Launch and just behind it is the Screen Door General Store. The Boardwalk. And here's Thimbles and Threads. We're now looking at Thimbles and Threads connected to the Screen Door General Store directly behind me. Disney's Boardwalk Resort also offers some resort specific merchandise like this Tervis mug. Let's see how much it is. And it's $26.99. They also offer this mug here and this Boardwalk t-shirt with Mickey and Minnie on it. That's nice. Let's see how much it is. It is $34.99. They also offer this upscale polo with the boardwalk logo on it. Let's see how much this one is. It's $74.99. Let's take a quick look at Thimbles and Threads before we head out the exit doors over on my left hand side. And we're going to go out these exit doors here. Over on the left hand side is Thimbles and Threads. And if we look just over on the right hand side, it's Big River Grill and Brewing Works. They offer outdoor boardwalk seating as well. And here's a quick look at the interior. Let's take a look at the menu offerings at Big River Grill and Brewing Works. Big River Grill and Brewing Works has a few brewers favorites, including a classic mac and chicken, a Cajun pasta, and a signature ribeye. The boardwalk games are not currently operating today, like the boardwalk hoop toss. Presto the wave. Here's what used to be jelly rolls. Atlantic dance. Dancing nightly. Disney's boardwalk.
just up ahead is a bridge that takes you to Disney's Yacht and Beach Club Resorts. Just on the other side of Crescent Lake is Disney's Yacht and Beach Club Resorts. On the opposite side is another bridge that takes you to the Swan and Dolphin Resorts. Funnel cakes, tasty sensations, but today it's not operating. Here's the Surrey bike rentals again, and just over to the left hand side is the Flying Fish. And here's the Flying Fish, but sadly, it's not operating today. Let's head over to the Abracadabra Bar. It's the Abracadabra Bar, with enchanting elixirs and curious concoctions. Let's take a look at the Abracadabra Bar's menu offerings. Open sesame. The Abra Cadabra Bar and Lounge has bar snacks available from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. with some additional handcrafted cocktails like the Who Done It's Punch, the Coney Negroni, the Black Manhattan, the Conjurita, the Parlor Trick, and the Magic Hatton. And here's Boardwalk to go, but it's not operating today. Just over to the left hand side from the Abra Cadabra Bar is Trattoria Al Forno. Let's take a look at the menu offerings here at Trattoria Al Forno. Trattoria Al Forno has a few entrees offered, like an oak grilled strip steak Florentine, a veal osco buco, and a rosemary tuna corpaccio. And here's the pizza window at Disney's. Boardwalk Resort. Let's take a look at the menu and see what they have to offer. The pizza window has various pizzas to offer, including a large pepperoni pizza, a large sausage and mushroom pizza, and a large veggie pizza. Here's Boardwalk Joe's. Marvelous margaritas. Let's take a look at the menu offerings here at Boardwalk Joe's. Alcoholic beverages are offered at this location, like the marvelous watermelon margarita, the frozen grand margarita, and the sunshine margarita. Next up is the Boardwalk Bakery. Boardwalk Bakery, come on in. And here's the entrance located over to the right hand side. And here's the Boardwalk Bakery. Let's take a look at some of their menu items. The Boardwalk Bakery has a featured offering. It's the ham and Swiss sandwich for $10.49. They also offer some souvenir specialties like a Star Wars Lucasfilm 2021 refillable mug for $29.99 and a resort refillable mug for $19.99. The bakery fountain offers resort mug refills here. And here's the recently opened Boardwalk ice cream. Let's go inside and take a look. It's always ice cream weather here. But let's take a look at the menu and see what ice cream flavors they have to offer. Disney's Boardwalk Resort offers ice cream like the classic wave of Double Scoop ice cream cup for $5.49, Ride the Wave Sunday two scoops for $6.99, Surf's Up Sunday three scoops for $5.99, and the Shoreside Sunday for $7.49. Just over to the left hand side from Boardwalk Ice Cream is the ESPN Club. At the moment, the ESPN Club is temporarily unavailable, but I'm hoping it will reopen soon. We've come up to Seabreeze Point, used for special events here at Disney's Boardwalk Resort. If we follow this pathway and go over the bridge here and make a right at the end, it'll take us over to the Epcot International Gateway, and the Disney Skyliner. Just up ahead is the Friendship Boat Dock, the Epcot International Gateway, and the Disney Skyliner. Now let's head over to the Luna Park Pool. We're gonna head down this corridor that we saw earlier. Over to the left-hand side is the Sideshow Arcade. Here's a peek through the door of the Sideshow Arcade. 
And just over to the left hand side is the Muscles and Bustles Health Club. Let's go take a quick look at that. We've arrived at the Muscles and Bustles Health Club here at Disney's Boardwalk. Let's just look through the window at the Muscles and Bustles Health Club. We've arrived at the Luna Park Pool. Over to the left hand side is the Leaping Horse Libations. Up ahead is the Keister Coaster, the water slide here at Disney's Boardwalk Resort. And here's the Luna Park Pool again. And here's the Keister Coaster water slide. Here's the spa for grown up explorers. And here's Leaping Horse Libations. Let's check out the menu here at Leaping Horse Libations. The Leaping Horse Libations has a few featured cocktails, including a tilt a whirl, a fun house, a carousel, and the roller coaster meltdown. And here's another look at the Luna Park Pool at Disney's Boardwalk Resort. Located just around the corner from the Luna Park Pool is Community Hall. And who doesn't like a game of cornhole here at Disney's Boardwalk Resort? And just up ahead, you could play pool here at Community Hall. At the moment, the bike rental is located here at Community Hall. And here's a quick look at the inside of Community Hall. Here's another quick look at the inside of Community Hall. There's Community Hall, and over to our left-hand side is another pool. And here's the Disney Vacation Club pool. And here's another spa for the grown-up explorers. Just behind me is Community Hall. The waterway here, if we go left, will take you to Hollywood Studios. And if you go right, they'll take you back to the boardwalk. But we're going to go off to the left-hand side and see some tennis courts. This pathway here doubles as a running trail to go all the way around Crescent Lake. And we've come up to the tennis courts. Let's go inside and take a quick look. And here's a quick look at the tennis courts here at Disney's Boardwalk Resort. Now that we've seen the tennis courts, let's head back to the main entrance, to the lobby. Prepare to fast forward through time and space. Here we are, back at the main entrance again. We've come full circle, but sadly, our journey's come to an end. Well, I hope you've enjoyed your tour of Disney's Boardwalk Resort just as much as I have creating it for you. With that being said, remember to click subscribe, smash that like button, and ring that notification bell for future channel updates. Also, follow me on Instagram and Patreon. Until next time, see you later, explorers.